welcome back to my channel so today we're just going to do a good old-fashioned grocery haul now throughout i'll give you some meal ideas for someone who is on like a higher protein diet or if you're just looking for some ways to spice up your meals and if you're like me and you just like watching grocery hauls then this one's for you i ended up going to three different stores this time we were at target for other things so i decided to get a couple things that i could only get there and then we went to Kroger and Aldi. So first, I'll start off with the stuff at Target because it's literally only like two different things. So the first thing is kind of random, but my favorite jelly is this one from Target. It's from their Good & Gather brand. And it is organic, which is great. But the reason why I like this one specifically is because it doesn't have too many added sugars. It only has 10 grams of added sugar versus, you know, other brands of jellies and jams where it's just like filled with them. And the ingredients are really good. It's just organic strawberries, organic cane sugar, and it has less than 2% of lemon juice concentrate and fruit pectin. So I personally like that. Whenever I go to Target, I basically stock up on this because I don't go to Target for groceries very often. So I actually got three of these. <laughs> then the only other thing I got at Target are the Alani New Energy Drinks. I'm obsessed with these flavors, and I like to get like a mix of different flavors so that's why I like just to get these from Target as individuals. I know it's probably cheaper to get them online like in a pack or something but it's fine. So I got the Watermelon Wave. This might be my favorite flavor. I also got the Cosmic Stardust. I got the Witch's Brew which is like a caramel apple one. This one's really good. This is one I haven't tried yet. This is the Cherry Slush. I've heard this one is very sweet and very strong, so I don't know if I'm gonna like it, but I'll let you guys know. Um, this is another one of my favorites. This is the Hawaiian Shaped Ice. So it's got like a little bit of a coconut flavor mixed with like the fruity, like snow cone kind of flavor. And then Breeze Berry. This is, that's probably my second favorite because this is just like the blue Mountain Dew, like the voltage one. This is a dupe for that, for sure. So that's all I got at Target. Next batch of stuff is what I got at Kroger. So I picked up some protein penne. I like to use this as another way to just increase my protein intake every day. And this is the penne. This is my personal favorite. The spaghetti one is also good, but I just like the penne better. And one of the meals that I'm gonna be having this week is shrimp pasta. So I have, I have shrimp that you'll be seeing when I get to the stuff from Aldi. I'll be making that with this penne. And then I also got this sauce, which is the first time I'm trying this sauce. It's a tomato and cream, creamy rosé. Delicate cream sauce made with tomatoes, butter, Romano cheese, and garlic. This is from like the Kroger Private Selection brand. It looked really good and it was I think two for five or something like that. So I got two of those. And I'll probably be like my dinners this week, this shrimp pasta. Then on the, the protein trend, I got some protein bars. These are my favorite. They're the Luna Protein, and specifically the chocolate chip cookie dough flavor is so good. It's like, you can see a picture over here. It's like chocolate on the outside, and it's got cookie dough inside, and the macros on this are really good. It's 12 grams of protein, 20 grams of carbs, and 6 grams of fat, and 180 calories. So it's a pretty good mix in my book, and I really like the way they taste, which is most important. These are like a quick option for breakfast. If I don't really feel like making anything, I just use these protein waffles. The Vans protein blueberry are definitely my favorite. I've tried the Kodiak cakes and the flavors are good, but I don't really like the texture or the consistency of those as much as I do these. And they have, was it like 12 grams? Of pro no, 10 grams of protein and nine grams of whole grains per serving. I also just picked up some coffee creamer. I didn't get anything fancy. I just got regular French vanilla because I've just been, you know, enjoying vanilla creamer in my coffee. And I personally don't get sugar-free, fat-free, organic, all-natural creamer. I just get whatever creamer I want because it's what, like, a tablespoon, two tablespoons a day. It's not going to kill you. Just my personal opinion. I got some adobo seasoning. This is a good seasoning that I like to use when I make like Spanish style recipes. So I like to keep this on hand for that. I also really like these for my breakfast lately. Lately I've been making like breakfast bowls with hash browns, egg whites, cheese, and then I throw a couple of these in there. These are like breakfast sausages, but it's made with turkey. So it's 70% less fat, no nitrate, and it's made with 100% premium turkey. And they're already cooked. 
which is really nice because then you just throw them in the microwave for like 30 seconds and then they're done. Okay, and then I got some cherry tomatoes. These are my favorite, the little cherubs, because they're like the perfect amount of sweetness and I just really like them. Which, if you saw, I think it was two videos ago, where I showed you like my lunch idea of the chicken caprese style bowl. So this is to go with that. Picked up some peanut butter. This is something else that we like to stock up on on Kroger because this giant thing is super affordable. And we go through peanut butter a lot in this house. My husband and I both eat peanut butter sometimes multiple times a day. <laughs> so this is a great thing that we need to have on hand like at all times. One of my favorite snacks honestly lately has just been a banana with some peanut butter. So gotta have this. Actually, going back to that jelly that I got, another way that I like to use these is as a pre-workout snack. So if I'm working out first thing in the morning, I don't really like to eat breakfast right before. So I'll just have a spoonful of peanut butter and a spoonful of jelly, call it a day. It's kind of like the poor man's version of those um, split packets. I'm gonna put a picture of them here. You see all the like, you know, influencers using them as their pre-workout, but those are expensive, okay? You could just get your own peanut butter and your own jelly and it's the same thing. But it's perfect as a pre-workout snack because you've got like a little bit of fat, a little bit of protein and carbs all wrapped up into an easy quick snack that's not too heavy on your stomach. Now from Kroger, a couple of fun items. Every Friday night my husband and I have pizza and movie night so we just got this, this is just the Kroger brand self-rising crust. This is the four cheese, this is one of our favorites. And I saw these and I just couldn't resist pizza rolls. I haven't had these in a really, really, really long time and I just was really craving them and they sounded good. So I bought them. Okay, that's everything from Target and Kroger. Let me show you what I got from Aldi next. Just like a couple staples. I didn't really get that much from Aldi this week, but I got bananas. Like I said, this is one of my favorite snacks and it's a good source of carbs and sugar. I got this giant thing of chicken. This was actually like the only packet of chicken that was left at our Aldi. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, I just got this big pack of chicken breasts and I'm gonna use this to meal prep some breaded chicken. I like to have it in my um, chicken caprese bowls with some orzo, cherry tomatoes, basil, mozzarella cheese, and balsamic. Those are really good, and I'll probably have those for lunches this week. So I got this big pack. This will definitely, this might even last me two weeks because these are giant. Like one chicken breast is like as big as my hand. For my other protein source, like I said earlier, I got some shrimp. I'll use this in my pasta recipe that I'm gonna be having for dinner this week. I like to get the peeled, deveined, and tail off. And these are from the frozen section at Aldi. And it's the best one that I've been able to find that isn't like super expensive. So those are the ones that I usually use. Had to stock up on some ketchup. If you know me, I put ketchup literally on everything. I put ketchup on my eggs. I put ketchup on macaroni and cheese. People tell me it's weird, but it's just, it's just one of my things. So I've got to stuck up on that, and this is only a dollar at Aldi, so can't go, can't go wrong. Got some almond milk. This is more for my husband, um, but sometimes if I do want milk, I will have a little bit of this, but I don't, I don't really drink milk that very often, to be honest. Yeah, occasionally if I want to make like a protein shake or something, then this comes in handy for that, but this is mostly for my husband. I didn't really show the stuff that my husband gets for himself because we eat pretty separately. Um, I know that there are some couples who like, you know, they cook meals and eat together, but we usually just like to eat different things. And I like to meal prep and he doesn't. So it's just easier for us to eat separate things. So this is more of like the stuff that I eat. I didn't really include his stuff. If you wanna know what my husband eats, let me know and I can include that next time. Okay, I've got two containers of egg whites. I like to make these with my breakfast bowls in the morning. So like I said, I'll usually mix these with like hash browns, turkey sausage, and cheese, and it's really good, really fast. And this is a great source of protein as well. In three tablespoons, which I think is equivalent to like one egg, yeah. It has five grams of protein, zero grams of fat. So this is a nice way to increase protein in your breakfast, especially. Then, speaking of fat, um, I have this. This is the butter that I like to get. Um, this is the Irish butter. This does have canola oil, but it also has milk from grass-fed cows, so it's like a bit of a balance. Um, I try to steer clear of canola oil just because it's not the best source of fat. 
to have in your diet but you know you win some you lose some i do sacrifice a bit of quality for price in this case since this is more affordable than the standard irish butter but it's a compromise. Sometimes I will take, this is mostly for my husband, he has sandwiches for lunch every day, but sometimes I'll use some of these to make like a breakfast sandwich. Um, again, you might think this is weird, but I like to mix sweet and savory things together. So those blueberry waffles I showed you earlier, I like to use those to make a breakfast sandwich. So I'll have like the two waffles with egg and cheese, and I really like the mix together. So that's why this is in there. And then I also got, this is the mild cheddar shredded cheese that I use in my breakfast bowls. Got some spinach. I'm going to be mixing this into the shrimp pasta so that I have a little bit of source of vegetables and fiber. I am trying to increase my vegetable intake because it can be hard, you know, when you're focusing so much on eating protein that you, you kind of forget to eat the vegetables too. Micronutrients are just as if not more important than your macronutrients. Don't forget. That's everything that I got from the grocery store. Let's try this flavor, the cherry slush of Alani New. Let's try it. We'll do a live taste test. Here we go. Oh. That's pretty good. It kind of tastes like... Oh, yeah. Tastes like when you get the... Oh my god, what is it called? From 7-Eleven. A Slurpee. A Slurpee. <laughs> it tastes just like that. Mmm. Mm-hmm. That is good. I can see why people think this one might be too sweet because it literally is just like you're drinking the syrup that comes in a Slurpee. But it's pretty good. It's not, it's not my favorite flavor. But it is, it is really good. They definitely hit the flavor on the head by calling it cherry slush because that's exactly what it tastes like. It definitely hits that craving for sure. All right, <sighs> I'm out of breath just from talking. I feel like I was probably talking too fast, but it's okay, you guys understand. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all these away. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this with some meal ideas and ways to, you know, increase your protein throughout the day. I would love to help you in that area because I know that is something that a lot of people, including myself, struggle with. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.